Welcome to Rich Conversations. Last week was the start of the Lunar New Year. My roommate is Vietnamese, and her and her friends were kind enough to invite me to a Buddhist temple to celebrate. And so some of her friends came over, and we all went together. And one of them stopped at the whiteboard. We're in front of the whiteboard here. And she says, wow, that's really philosophical. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so here we have, I just wrote some notes down on the whiteboard that I thought I would share. And this is a, a kind of a theory that I have that I'm, I'm working on, but I think is very, very true. So right here I have written kind of sloppily. I didn't think anybody was going to read it. I forgot to erase it. Pressure is different in the playoffs. Players tighten up, play looser, calm, relaxed. Dak, comma, Rogers, cool, arrow, clutch. Very philosophical. But what I've been thinking a lot about is the difference between in sports, the regular season and the postseason. I think they're radically different games. And what happens in the regular season doesn't necessarily translate to the postseason. And there are a number of reasons why, but the biggest reason is that the pressure is different. There's more at stake. So what happens is the players that can still play relaxed calm and not let those expectations, not expectations, but the weight and magnitude of the game and the outcome affect their physiology in a way, their psychology and their physiology in their bodies. What we're finding, what we see if we look at history, and even recently with Patrick Mahomes winning the third Super Bowl, is... The players who are loose, relaxed, cool, poised, they tend to win more than um, players that tighten up, mechanical. A big thing today is analytics. So that's stats and data in relation to sports and performance, right? And some people are really kind of married to the idea of analytics. Me, what I'm noticing is big limitations of analytics. For example, the analytics of regular season, they just don't translate to the postseason. It's just a different game. Is your goal to do well in the regular season, have the best regular season, or do you want to win a championship? And I'm finding those analytics aren't as relevant as some would think. One of the biggest events that has swayed me in this direction is being in Miami, watching my number one seed, Milwaukee Bucks, play. Uh, I went to both games in Miami, and Jimmy Butler put up 56 points. And the eighth seed beat my number one Milwaukee Bucks. I wasn't even mad. I was inspired. The energy I felt, I've never felt anything like that at a sporting event. It was crazy. More and more, I think... If a team is in the playoffs, they're pretty competitive. They're overall, they're at least good, right? But now it's a matter of will. It's a matter of when the ball is tossed up at half court. Who wants it more? Who wants to win more, right? When a football is kicked off, who wants it more? I think it really comes down more to that. And the players I I see like Rodgers... They do very well. They're very mechanical in the regular season. But when things aren't steady, they tend to lose their composure and the performance suffers a bit. Um, With the NBA regular season right now, the Boston Celtics are the one seed and everybody loves them. Oh, they, they must be surefire bets to go to the NBA finals. In my lifetime, the Boston Celtics... And my Milwaukee Bucks have the same number of NBA championship wins. One. To me, in my lifetime, the Boston Celtics are a regular season franchise. The pressure in the playoffs is totally different. But what we can, if you're a betting individual, we can look at precedent. And players who have performed well and 
have won at the highest level are more likely to do it again than players who haven't. So if we look at the NFL, Patrick Patrick Mahomes has done it three times now, right? Tom Brady did it over and over and over again, right? In basketball, we have Jokic. He's done it. Giannis has done it. We've seen them do it. So they're more likely to do it again because they know what it takes. Whereas other teams who have fine regular seasons, you know, we don't know for sure. And I say this with my Milwaukee Bucks having been the one seed for a number of years. The time they won the championship was as a three seed. So regular season, I just don't feel it matters as much. And it's more so about cultivating a psychology, a psyche that's cool and calm when it matters most.